Hello and welcome, sorry I'm just double checking this is recording, to the Sarare Butchered Lions YouTube channel. Good news, we have hit the threshold but without further ado, please subscribe to my channel. If you're brand new or you've got mates joining, use the link or this link in the description and you will get a free card after five purchases. Make sure you follow me on Twitter over here where I'll do some giveaways and follow me on Sarare. Okay then, let's dive into things. What's been going on since the last episode? Um, a fair bit, to be quite honest with you. I've been in Wales. Um, we had a midweek, which I didn't hear anything. A little play tonight on Google... What is it? Google... I don't know what you call it. Google Sheets, I think it's called. Uh, just to help me track a bit, because I was going to use um, Sarare Tools, but then I've got my under-23 side in here, which balls it all up, to be quite honest with you. So I've separated it here in my squads, but I can't get any calculations without doing it myself. So it's just a bit of an overshot of what our team's looking like at the moment, uh, where we are, what we've spent what we have sold and earned, that's a bit of something to be discussed this video, and the profit we've made so far, or not profit, um, the percentages and sort of things we're going into. If you're good at Google Sheets, please let me know. Basically here, I want to create a graph, uh, is it a, no, a chart, that will basically have... Um, the total money we've spent here and like the percentage we've earned back that will go up here and then maybe some other interesting analytics, the profit we've made on trades uh, and all that shenanigans, how long it's taken. If anyone's good at data, I can basically share the sheet with them and they can do that for me. I will pay you an ETH. So let me know in the comments if you're good down below. Be much appreciated. All right, what has gone on since the last video? Again, we've got the comments, uh, we've got the description here. So this was the team before. We had a keeper, so we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine players, maybe 10, I don't know if I counted that wrong. Um, are they, do they all stay at the top? Yes, yeah, so these are the three new additions. We've got Virgil, Mr. Jan, Vitinho, and George Coenther. Vitinho was from a comment. I mean, these comments are amazing. If you've got any more tips, I am basically buying them up, either hoarding them or trading them, because these are all the sorts of players that this video is specifically for to help you hit the e threshold. And to prove it, we've hit two out of three. The midweek last week was a bit of a disaster. Uh... I bought two players. I mean, I hit it because I got under 23 players. So let's actually just recap now to the midweek game week. What happened? Anthony Morris letting about four goals against Antwerp. They're on fire at the moment, Antwerp. I don't know what's going on there. So we only got six points. Gilberto, after someone outlining it on Twitter, which I got into a confrontation with. I don't know why I got angry. Um, he was actually trying to be helpful, saying that he might be dropped. And I think he might be dropped, but he had played this weekend and all right this weekend. So anyway, he got dropped, so didn't play. And then I brought in the other little lad um, in the name of this lad here, just specifically for that game week, because I didn't have anyone for the midweek game week. He got a DMP after he fell out with his manager, which was a bit weird. So he would have gone in. So again, for the sake of me, I put my under 23s in. For the sake of the video, we wouldn't have hit the E threshold. We have got track of all of this on my Twitter page. So go and head to this tweet here. I'm pinned on the top of my page. We've already got six likes. I want to grow that to see if it's actually worth it for people. Along with this Google Sheet, which we're going to dive into in further videos when we've got better analytics. Uh, and yeah, here we go. So I hit 159.6 points without the big lad scoring for me. 
in the name of Simmons and Cherky. I basically hit the threshold with three players, which is pretty nuts. Big man, Chatsidiakos, hit 100 for us. What is his price? We will have a little look. He's done another job for us this weekend. He is fast becoming our best player. He is now worth about 200 quid. We paid... Let's have a little, a little snoop. We paid 118. So he's already helped us win about 88 quid's worth of ETH. And he's already gained about 80 pounds worth of ETH. So that is unbelievable scene. This lad, what a purchase he has been. We head on to this game week. Hopefully, there's a little uh, under 23 coming our way with my bigger squad, which I'm not doing many videos on at the moment. I'll give you a quick little lowdown on it. I have been building the best under 23 stats team you can possibly buy. So Skov Olsen at front is maybe one of the best forwards I can get at my price, barring Mbappe. Xavi Simmons, I took the, put the bullet on. Uh, I got him really, like... Just before his price exploded, after he scored a hundred and a uh, and a ninety, I think it was. It says Mansky, I bought back at the start of the season when he went to Feyenoord. He's scored really well since. Pavlo Pavlovich has been annoying. He hasn't been in the starting lineup. If he was, this could have been a monster uh, reward. And then Diogo Costa, I bought back obviously when I sold my gallery to reset this up. But anyway. That's my under 23 side. It's going to be the best under 23 side I can possibly, you can possibly field. And then I'll just build this rare all star team, which we're going to use the threshold grinders for, barring any issues like the last midweek game week. But I'm still going to, for this series, base it on what you can do and what this series can do. So we hit 260.89 points. What a consistent performance. I've got the tweet queued because I'm going to add the video link in this section here. 260 points, which equals 43.38 pounds worth. Uh, that any Without a goalkeeper, we would have got... I've put it in here in my new amazing spreadsheet, which I am really bad at. Uh... <laughs> So, yeah, again, shout out to anyone who knows how to do that a bit better. But I really feel it'll benefit everyone if we can. Oh, here we go. So I put the score usually here. Yes, let's do that. Paste. Right, there it's in. Just want to get this all right with the spaces. My... Right, yeah, so then we hit that. So overall, within a week, we've had a chance of getting basically 150. 420 quids worth um, but we missed out last game with reducing bad purchases but all in all we're flying we've hit two large e thresholds we've got 86.49 pounds back of the 2886 that we've spent and that's uh, with all the other players I've bought. I mean, we've got quite a big squad now. We're pretty sorted. We have some very bad news in one of our best players um, who played this week, game week, who helped us get the reward in 45 minutes. And this man has done quite a bad injury for three months. And he was supposedly one of our best players. So absolutely gutted there. We're going to have to rely on Demibai and Cataldi. Uh, Demibai did score this weekend, I think. I don't know where he is. I think he's in one of my training lineups. Yes, he did. So that's good news. He's hit a bit of form because we needed that. And he was my biggest shout, wasn't he? After all of you. What price did we pick him up for? Let's have a little little snipe here. Demibai was 85 quid. Yeah, he's now you'd probably best pick him up for a hundred and one hundred and thirteen. So still pretty good. If you're building this Eve like fresh older, come with me on the ride. This man will do a job for us. Yeah, so here we go. We got Morris Hanch Olsen. I was hoping he would get a move, but it looks like he stayed. 
Interestingly enough, today one of their go one of their defenders got a red card and he came off the bench. So he will almost definitely play the next game, even though that's Europa League and he won't be banned for that. So next weekend, I'm guessing he'll be available. He hit a really good AA within a few seconds of coming on, basically. He's only on for like 15 minutes. So yeah, I think he's a pretty good thing. Uh, he could still maybe move. He's only 25. He plays an Norway national team. I like, I like it. Uh, he was a new purchase. One of the new things that happened, which is rather exciting, is we got a tip on Vitinho for Norwich, is it? No, I don't think it's Norwich. Let's have a quick dive into where he is. This lad here. Anyway, we picked him. Oh, I got the wrong bloody club. Oh, here we go. No, he played against West Brom for Burnley. So he was a Burnley lad. On the way back from Wales, I was looking at picking him up and I was put, throwing in a load of really, really low ball offers, to be quite honest with you, and managed to strike and get... Oh, there you are. So there's another one for a really cheap price. I might actually go and pick him up in this video to resell him because what happened was we picked him up for 0 0.052 after some real hard hassling. I was trying to save every 0 0.01 of the ether. Picked him up for 69.88. I then re-bought another one about two days ago because I sold that one for a profit uh, of £18.51, so 0.0137 ETH, and then realised that I wanted to get another one back because I still think it would go up in price. I bought him for 0.064 ETH and £86. I think I'm going to go and offer this bloke now some ETH to pick up the other one and sort of try and do a mini monopolizing of the oh shit I clicked the wrong thing mini monopolizing of the market because I just think he will grow and grow in price he's a championship player he scores well he plays quite high up uh so we're gonna oh no not another one why isn't he in the Sarah thing Idiots. Right, oh, he's got a super rare, so money might mean that much to him. We're going to throw in the low ball 70 on him. Oh, shh. I need to click on this one. 6999, baby. We're going to throw in a low ball. Hopefully, he accepts that. And then I can just be profit. I feel as he's a midweek player, as he's a championship player, there's going to be weeks when people really need this sort of player. He's under 20, uh, under 23. Everything that adds up, I quite like the purchase. I think he's really cheap for what he is, so it's good. So I made money on him, and I re-bought him back for 86. In hindsight, that wasn't great, because I could have swung for this much cheaper. Uh, but so be it. We've made the profit. We locked in the profit. That is now on. The first part of the sold players list, baby. £18.41 profit. Uh, what else has happened? We've picked up a few new players. We'll go here because this is obviously the most recent. Forget Zeno Bast. This lad, George Kowentha. He has played the Europa League games and scored really well. He's under 23. He's nine. This is the one for 9.5. I didn't even realise that. Uh, what did we pick him up for? He was recent. I threw out a load of offers on him. Uh, here you are. 126.32. 126 quid. And just saw him on Sorare Data and just thought he looked tasty. He scored well. He's under 23. He'll play the Europa League games. Raul Albiol is their other centre-back. Who is... 36 or 38. He's not far off an injury. This lad played all the last season for... I don't know. Getafe, was it? I think it was Getafe. We just had to do this. Is he accepted? No. So he's not going to accept that. He played for Getafe. Just a nice little snipe. I thought Villarreal are a good side as well. He's played a few games for Villarreal. He's sub-bench. He'll probably play the midweek game. Look at the scores from when he was playing for Getafe. What a what a pickup that is. Uh, I think for that sort of price and under 23, I can either flip him when he has a good game or keep him. And it's very much relatable 
to our now new best player and potential 3x in price. 11 days. We picked this lad up just because he had a good AA. He was playing midweek. Uh, the under 23 was a bonus. He was like 200 quid, I think. Where was he? We had picked him at Donifitz. 205 pounds. 0 0.165. Absolute bargain. He's only 23. He had a good AA. Now, the lowest price, I mean, five days ago, went for 281. He genuinely won't go for that anymore. I think someone in one of the chats, I mean, in the WhatsApp group, uh, if anyone wants in on this WhatsApp group, Serrera Enthusiasts, really good people, all help each other out. I sent someone 0 0.01 ETH today, and he's going to send it back in a few, few days. Uh, all really good lads, only good lads allowed. Um, he sold him for 0 0.445, I think. So we basically made... Yeah, look at the price rise on this bad boy. But also, he's a GOAT, so I don't really know what to do. I don't think I'm going to get a better midweek AA player. There we go. 569. So basically, we made 3x, and he's helped us hit the ETH rewards. So there we go. We've already made... If I wanted to sell him, I could basically make £400 profit in one play that just shows how good this series has been and how you need to shout it out and share it and show it to other people uh because i put a lot of time and effort into this and it's paying off for me and i want it to pay off for everyone else is this an auction did that uh get recent no it's a reward very lucky person won that reward um so that happened so we've made 18 pounds on a quick flip of vitinia we can make a big profit on dominic fitz debating whether to sell him or not, to be quite honest with you, because I can probably pick up a midweek forward. Let's have a look, let's have a look, quick little scout, because there's no video without a good scout. The good news is this is a midweek game week here. I haven't paid for Sarai Day to the extra version. I want to be looking at this game week. Basically, all the Champion Europe and all the Challenger Europe, now it's a midweek game week. You can search. We don't need under 23, actually. We just need any forward. Champion Europe wise, uh, and then we need to go rare value, and we can just filter by that. And I know that these are definitely all in Europa League, Champions League, or Europa Thingy League, or whatever they are. Uh, so basically, I could swap Fitz out for a Musa Dembele. Do I want to? Probably not, because Fitz is actually a better player. Also, Musa Dembele, Leon aren't in the Europa League, so French League have got a few games, so you just need to be careful when you're doing this. But someone like this lad, uh, he plays for Nantes. Again, he didn't play a full game. He is also under 23, so he could rise in price. But I could go and swap him. I've self uh, Fritz and do whatever I want with him, basically. I could just go and replace him with one of these lads. This lad looks rather good. Oh, he's another. Oh, he's Lorient. I think they're in Europa or something. I'm not too sure. But anyway, he looks really decent. That's what I could do, but I'm not going to because I'm quite happy. And I think if he scores one more good game week, he will then jump another 50-odd quid. And then I think he'll hit his top potential and we'll probably move him on. Uh, what else has happened? We picked up the other Vitinia. We've got the George Coenta. Um, Who else has... Oh, we got that bad injury, which is an absolute nightmare, isn't it? So, Tozos. He was on a really good score, and he was only a few minutes in. I think it was like 43 minutes into the game, and I got a message on that chat. Actually, someone out outlined it to me. That's why his price is going down. It's probably a good one to pick up now, to be quite honest with you. He was on 58 points in 45 minutes, and he's gone and done his ACL. I think it's about three months. If anyone could let me know in the comments if you know, that'd be great. But look at these scores. We're missing out on a midweek player as well. So I'm going to have to double check our midweek utility now because we've got Morris who will play for Luxembourg. Hans Olsen I'm hoping will play for Norway. Tozos was going to be one of the midfielders and would have played. We've got this lad. I don't quite know. Does he pair up with the other Greek at the back. Let's hope he does. I think that's one of the positives about having him. Yes. 
Right, that's really good news. He plays nearly all the games for Greece. So we have... Again, these were, this was the reason behind buying them. We got Morris, Hansi Olsen, Tozos, Tokos would have been. Uh, Manalo, hopefully. We've got Chaxi Anders. We've got one, two, three. We haven't got a midfielder now. So we need to, I need to somehow find a midfielder and a forward international. So that could be a reason behind selling uh, Fitz. He is also on set pieces, this lad. That's why he's scoring so well as well. Does he play? Would he play for Austria? Austria are too good a side for someone like him to play in, wouldn't it? Way too good. He wouldn't even make the bench. You know, there's no Austria down here. But look at them scores. I mean, you hit a few of them, string a few of them together as a forward. Wow, you'll be you'll be up there. And that's exactly what's happened to his price. So I am going to have to find, because an international week coming up soon. Unless we use the chance to like sell the players and then buy them back. Uh, Chatsiakos, Hanshe Olsen, Morris. I've got to make decisions. If I had Tokos, it would have been easy because I could have just gone and picked up a forward then. But we currently don't have a forward to do so. We have too many defenders, so I am looking at actually shifting Gilberto. Uh, what else happened? We had Michael Murillo. He hasn't hit very good form, but he plays, so that's good news. He also plays for Panama, so hopefully if there's any Panama games that uh, get scored, he will he'll do that. Uh, Coentha we picked up obviously for the midweek utility hopefully he'll find his way into the side and we can either flip him he was cheap enough at 120 quid if he gets in the starting side and under 23 he'll definitely double in price so just a good player to have at that price uh, Virgil Mr. Gianni, luckily played a few minutes he was basically going to be my sub forward for this team uh, <laughs> We've got Manalo as well. I don't. I got an offer for Manalo. I don't really know what happened there. Someone offered me, and I really should have taken it. Looking back at this, offers received. It was random. I didn't have enough for sale. Manalo, ninety-one quid. Because yeah, my new one. Why didn't I accept that? I sort of took it, thinking he might be getting a move away or something. And now there's one gone for sixty-eight quid. Brilliant. Don't really know what's going on there. I really should have taken that at the time. Something must have triggered. But he didn't play the last game, so that's quite frustrating. Uh, what else have we got to say for the roster? Again, has anyone else like got an all-star team because of this video? Please let me know. It'd be very interesting. And then I will show you my upcoming game week fixture with these lads in. Cataldi, great player. Just Bang average scores. He had a bad one against Napoli, but plays all the games. Great player to have at a cheap price. Midweek utility. The works. Does he have any chance of playing for Italy? Any chance? Because he, if he does, would be a great help. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No. Brilliant. So he doesn't help. Uh, the problem we have for the midweek. Uh, as I said, this lad is my best pickup so far. Just greens everywhere and he's hit 100. Fitz, also one of my best pick pickups. Uh, Manalo, an interesting one. He plays for... Oh, it's Sugar. He's my forward for Bosnia, but he also hasn't played much. So will he play for Bosnia? Let's double check that. If not, we ha I can go and pick up a Rebic for really cheap, I think. Bosnia, yes! Yes! Even if it's a sub-appearance, we'll take that. He has Bosnia appearances. He, got, he was out the squad. What has gone on with him? Is he... Maybe I got an offer because he was leaving and he would have got starting time somewhere else. Let's just go and double check uh, Luca Manalo. I tried to look earlier and there's nothing. Yeah, I'm the most common tweeter. I don't really understand what's what's going on with this lad. There's no recent news on him. 
on earth are they talking about there? 15 hours ago. These are the same information which Chelsea gives at the jury that lied to fans. What does the story to us do show? What on earth are they... Where do, where's Luca Manello in here? You can search, I can't, again, another computer was. Otherwise, it should be noted that Luca has an injury problem. Ah, so there we are. That's why he is out. He's a, probably a good player to pick up, chaps, if you want someone for that price. You can basically pick up and Hanche Olsen for 100 quid, him for about 70 quid. A Tokos now for probably 100 quid. You can hold on three months. This lad now for about 200. And then that's like every single game week you can basically enter a team and earn dollar. All right, upcoming game week. Let's head into this. So, I'm actually my teams uh, just so I can rebuild them for the sake of this. We are diving straight into the most important one, which is the All Star Rare. We have Anthony Morris in goal, who has Union Berlin. Again, I'm just hoping for a clean sheet. He hasn't hit many clean sheets. We hadn't hit a clean sheet in a long time. Hoping for good things there. New big boy pickup here, chaps. But I'll leave that for the next lineup builder. Um, I think I chance now with our new signing in George A. Coentha. Just because... Coentha. He... Looks like he's going to be made for the Europa Leagues, just by looking at this. Played both the games against Hadjikut Split. Scored well. He's got 9.5 spent. He's a sub there against Elche. They played Raul Albiol, who scored well, but he's 37. Pal Torres. I mean, they basically put a completely different side out in this game. And Coentha played mid centre back with Coquelin and all sorts. So he'll, I'm 99% sure he'll play with a 9.5% bonus at 120 quid. That's an absolute steal against a crap team as well. Here we have a trouble because Tokos was going to be our star man from the mall. Demibai against Bruges away or Cataldi against Feyenoord. I don't know if Cataldi will be dropped. I, I, I honestly don't know here. We, we don't have a huge amount of options. Uh, he got taken off in the 75th minute. Hopefully that wasn't for an injury. Hopefully they took him off just because he's playing the midweek game. And then we have Demibai. who played 60 minutes. Did he start? Well, he must have played 60 minutes, wasn't he? Who also probably came off to play midweek. What lineup did Leverkusen go out with this week? And Andrich. Had some of the Aaron Gies came off the bench, so Demobai was favoured over him, which is good. That's exactly what I thought would happen after their shambolic performances. And Palacios started, so that's a really weird lineup. I think Demobai goes in. I think Demobai goes in. I've just got a feeling. Uh, Fitzy Boy, obviously, is probably all that Austria when I have got. So the smaller teams need to play their best players at all times. So we'll definitely be siding with him. We also have nothing else. And then, last but not least... I'm a bit concerned Gilberto might be dropped to the bench. This lad, Shaki Akudokos, he just looks like the best sort of player for us. 6.5. The scores are phenomenal. Um, he has a chance of a big score. I mean, to be quite honest with you, the team built now all has a chance of big scores. He hits a 50. He keeps a clean sheet. He hits a 70 or an 80. Demibai gets an assist, and then Fitzy Boy gets a goal or an assist, or a good, and he get, usually gets a good all round. We actually have a chance for a reward. We haven't built just an ETH grinding team, we've built a really solid side. 
for a really good prices. I mean, look at them recent scores. They're beautiful. Yeah, he's basically only in the past... It's game week 2 four, 6 He's only dropped one game. So he's 100% in. Um, and I think we'll go with Fitz as the El Capitino. Let's just double check he doesn't get dropped for the midweek. I think this is quite a big game for them, like their midweek games. So I think he'll just play everything. Yeah, I think he'll just play everything. Uh, he played the whole 90, which is an issue. But he is, he is Thursday, isn't it? So he'll definitely play. And I think we'll just go with him captain again, just because he's been so reliable for us. So that's the Eve side that I think will hit the midweek Eve, which will be really exciting because that's the whole point of this um, this video. Under 23, big man Costa, new boy Wrench, or Pavlovich, who got rested and came on late in the game on Saturday. Also a new signing is DeBast. And I've got Gavardio. I think Renchi has to go in. Just because he's an animal scorer. And this is what this side's all about. I think Javi Simons has to be the main centre mid. Obviously, Scott Olsen. He got pulled off about 65th minute after already getting an assist. He's just unbelievable. And then by Leverkusen, defence is awful at the moment. So all of them fall really solid. I'm just stuck on the last one. But I think Szymanski will have to be it. But it's away at Lazio, which will be a tough game. So I'm almost siding with Zeno de Bast as my other new signing. Against a really crappy looking side. Again, they look crappy to me. But they are, could be fairly decent. Uh, he's hit like consistent 50s. I just think he's probably a better shout than... Played the full 90, played 90s against what looks like their game that was the uh, the Europa competition. Yeah, I'm always certain he'll, these all will start and play some part of the game. He also just hits mid-50s. We'll need Simons to actually do bits. Wrench eh, against Rangers who are awful at the moment. But I think I'm going to side with Simons at... They've got Bodie and Glimmert, whoever they are. So hopefully that hits a reward. Um, and then I can probably slide in another team. But it probably won't have a chance anywhere. And I think I tried to put in a underdog rare and I couldn't. I think I've got... I've got... Ooh. Oh, Guardian. My midfield. Oh, now i got forward. Tell you what, is Merlin back? Let's just double check because if Merlin is back, I mean, I can play Cherky instead. Hanshi Olsen, I don't think, will play this midweek. I think I'll save him for the weekend now. The other guy's got the red card. Mario probably has a good chance of playing. If Merlin isn't available. Cherky will definitely play a part in the game. How long is he out for? Uh, doo -doo -doo. Return of the end. Oh, I hate this. I almost just like to wait until they actually play one game before I actually put them in lineups. I mean, I just don't know. I can't risk him. So, Ryan, Ray and Cherky will head in. That's actually a fairly decent side. I think Gavardi or the captain there. If they all play, that's a decent underdog rare side. Right, we've got three really nice teams going out there. And I think I'm going to leave it at that. I may or may not be doing a competition this week i've got a busy week at work and i usually like to do them when i haven't got a busy week at work um so actually i'm gonna big big mcbride a shout out because look at this lineup that he has just tweeted it's an all-star rare pro lineup where is it 
where is it? Is he hiding it again, or has he just been tweeting loads? Or has he just been tweeting loads? Is what he always does. Where's it gone? I think he's put it away. Anyway, he's waiting on Carlos Hill. He's already on 470 points. Oh, it's not there. That's annoying. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. Have a great week because I'm going to be posting this about Monday about 6 o'clock. He still hasn't got back to me. I haven't received anything back either from him. Yeah, have a great week. Let me know if anyone knows how to do spreadsheets and just pretty this up and have an overview one. That would be great. Uh, drop me a Discord. My Discord is 9 Nick Lions. 9655. You can just go in this and then go on general and then type up here and you should be able to find me or just add me as a friend. Um, or I'll leave it in the description in this video. Anyway, peace out. God bless. I will fill out this description with the updates as well. See you all later.